So interesting to see if we can see the pivots from Samsung to understand that it's an Evelyn, doesn't skirmish very well early, can be invaded. This is a very different jungle match. We never see jungles like Evelyn selected. It's like Ivern has never been a big pick in Korea. Samsung could just enact an early game plan and try to starve the Evelyn from actually getting to level six at a reliable speed. Uh, oh, um, the pronunciation is. I actually mix it up. As so clear love is going for, for this a very, gang. Cli very quick game. Three, the flash comes in from Mako. Samsung know what's up right now, but clear up from the shadows. Ruler dropping low. Whoa, 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 just do it. And he actually stands up, fights. The line is drawn. First blood over to the gonna clear be a double. Love Evelyn. The double kill to EDG. Ambition wandering into the mid lane. Hasn't seen clear love yet, but he is waiting Risky. for us and jumps in. Knock back, flick of the wrist in from Scout. Lower mana. Clear up still chasing after. Comes in with a flash. Misses a lot of the Q it's damage. Crown, crown turning six. around level four. Level five on Crown turns around. This should be the kill. So Samsung have a control ward down and the ability to try to freeze this wave again. They might just engage Maker, though. They know the flash is down. Oh yeah, his flash is gone. Goes into the great health. Roller turning around has lots of damage, but no one can reach him just yet. Rooted on the clear the right here. Teleport comes in for the top lane. Mech's already dead. Big no out from Kuve. Oh and baby! Crunch as well. And Samsung locks the wipe up. This entire fight. Bolotov doesn't connect, but Mouse, he's caught in the trap right now. And no one can even save him. Just Taking close to Meganar, but so it could be three. Everyone's on their way to the bottom lane. Clear up and Scout. The three for the man set up, and he's not even going to get Meganar. Gets blasted on the spot from Scout and Clear Love. With their stronger laning duo, which I think Ruler and Cordy have cemented here, are in a good spot. There is heal up over their opponents. Watching Scout, notice he doesn't have Weaver's Wall. So there is still a teleport coming down from Mouse. The locking up Maker right now, and the Fissure follows as well. Zet. And be gobbled up and hopefully he's taken to safety. Mouse is right in the thick of it. Goes in for the again, but gets faulted by Crown. He should be falling here, but the battle does ensue. Clear up around the side, but Zet blasted away. And Scout also down. Two casualties. Made that three. EDG are just bleeding out right now. Three kills and the dragon to Samsung. TP does come in from Kube. Revenge of the Revenge of the Nar. Alright, this is gonna take a while, you have to feel, do but it, do? It, <laughs> I mean you can see those hyper procs, those down. hyper yeah, procs hurt a lot of damage. Ambition is gonna confirm this one. Mouse will eventually go down, misses that one flash cut out of the way. Mouse will he actually get out of this one. Yes, flash. Dash comes up in two seconds. Nice, ah, no, just kidding. Cask against the wall. Oh no, it just slices <laughs> it away. Ambition actually turned around and oh, the he blocks it. it. <laughs> He's still coming after him. Lands that boulder and finally he goes down. That one, so Samsung either they get the, the Baron or they don't, they just waste maybe a couple seconds. Cordia actually flashed for that one, locked down Mako, but Crown doesn't want to use oh. the old bit right, right there. I guess Clearlove assassinated Ruler at some Yeah, there point. you go. Uh, Clearlove still needs to get away from this one. They're Scott still Freed chasing it, this is risky from Samsung. He's got a lot of shielding in from the Agony's Embrace. Takes out the second one onto Crown. Mouse over the wall, locking down Cordia Day for a third. Double kill for Scout. So a lot of pressure coming in from Kube at this point in time. He's almost at that Mega and he sees a lot of low health oh, Kube. up from Kube. The two versus five slams Mako against the wall, but he saves Mouse's life. And everyone turn back on towards him. Around. It's a one for one so far, and it will be the one on one. But the Tom Kench is one of the big yeah. variables to consider as speaking of variables. Oh, Agony's embrace onto Ruler and Core Jade. It looks like Ruler somehow surviving Ruler's. Getting chased down long with Core JJ. Nice sidestep from Scout and Scout will get the kill and go and set. Locked they want to kill place. him. Needs to kill this time catch. Glyph coming in from the backside. Looking for a big agony's embrace. Mouse on the front lines as well. Looking to do all he can. A crowd instantly deleted out there. Clear up. We'll take one with him. Oh! Everybody knows back. Akube with a second massive ultimate in this game. Zed tries to kite away, but he's not going to team. Bowler to the back of the head. He goes down. A mouse, nowhere to run, nothing to do. And Scout will be the fifth and final casualty of this fight. EDG completely wiped by Samsung. And it's going to be the game. It's going to be the game. They're going to ride in this minion wave in top as they take the inhibitor. QV twice blows open the game on the NAR that he brought back into the meta, in Korea at least. Trying to take note, the NAR is strong. It's an answer to the Renekton. And Samsung, it wasn't always clean, but when they needed to make the big plays, they did. And catching the Talia, that passage actually ended the game. It lived up to expectations there, Paprinus. The Nexus for Samsung. Samsung, voice crack went through puberty. Take <laughs> the Nexus and take the game.